Willkommen, bienvenue, welcome. I always wanted to say that on a stage. Um, this is going to be inspirational because this is uh, the official Wikibase inspiration panel of uh, Wikidatacon 2019. Um, the point of this panel is to be inspired by all the things that people in various countries, in various fields, do with Wikibase, the software behind Wikidata. I was really surprised to learn today that uh, someone came to me and said, I learned about Wikibase the first time today. So it is uh, the software that runs uh, Wikidata, uh, and if you want to order things in the world the way Wikidata orders things in the world, um, but you don't agree with the items that we have in there, because you might need a finer level of granularity, or maybe you don't want to start with Q1, which is the universe, because in your little world, Q1 could be a book if you are a library, or it could be some kind of animal if you work in biology, or um, it could be a historic person if you do uh, digital humanities, but you still want the same system of ordering, then Wikibase is the thing for you. Um, over the last one or two years, we have uh, made contact with uh, extraordinary people who are pioneers, who are trailblazing, who are uh, evaluating Wikibase and who are doing extremely great stuff with that. Um, this panel is going to be very rushed. Every one of the participants of the, this panel uh, would have deserved a one hour slot to present uh, their thing, but um, our program is packed. So um, yeah, keep your seatbelt fastened for a fast pace uh, ride uh, through the inspirational world of Wikibases. And the first one is um, a project from two organizations, which is a little sensation in itself, uh, the uh, Bibliothèque Nationale de France, the French National Library, and ABES, which is uh, yeah, uh, an authority for uh, higher education. Uh, but I think you will talk about that uh, more in your presentation. And um, yeah, I would like to welcome Anila Angeli and uh, Benjamin Bobert on stage for the first 10 minutes of inspiration. Hi everybody, so yeah, my name is uh, Benjamin Bobert. So I work for ABES, uh, which stands for uh, High Education Agency, Bibliographical High Education Agency. Basically, we work with all the um, university libraries in France and manage the union catalog and also the, uh, their authority files. And I'm here with uh, Annie Langeli uh, from the BNF, Nas French National Library, and we are going to talk to you about uh, our joint project, uh, which is about uh, creating a new production tool for authorities' uh, data, person, uh, corporate bodies, concepts, and so on. And uh, we spent the last month assisting Wikibase to uh, to to do uh, to do this stuff. So uh, I will give you. Uh, some context really quickly uh, because it's important for us uh, as libraries there, there's been this technological shift uh, recently uh, with the linked open data movement and we, we wanted uh, as bibliographical agency to to follow uh, this uh, this new trend and well it's been years since we've uh, experimenting with uh, linked open data, with uh, RDF, uh, Spark, and so on, but uh, we think that now is the good time to, uh, to, to move forward. Uh, it's also a good time because uh, there's been um, uh, another shift, uh, another fundamental change in the, in the way we, invite, uh, we consider bibliographical data. Uh, we, we used to and we still have uh, data stored in records, uh, call it mark records in the library uh, uh, landscape. Uh, we use a, a specific format called mark. Uh, but uh, recently there have been some way to, um, to think about it from another point of view and to go from a record-based uh, world to an 
entity-based world when, when we try to interconnect uh, people, works, uh, and other, other entities. Uh, so in, in this context, we decided to, uh, to launch uh, this uh, joint initiative. Uh, but our goal is far beyond libraries. We, we would like to, uh, to have with us uh, all the French glams, for instance, because we think uh, our project can help them also. Uh, so basically, our project is called Fichier National Identité, so National Entity Files. And it will be a shared platform for collaboratively create and maintain reference data about entities, like I said, persons, corporate body, places, concepts, and creative works. So we embrace a lot of things. And uh, it's a challenge because it's the first time BNF and ABES collaborate at such a, uh, at such a level. Uh, giving you a quick view about uh, where we are, where we come from and when we are now. Uh, we've been working on this project since 2017. Uh, we've been benchmarked other similar initiatives and came to the conclusion last year that uh, there was a strong interest in Wikibase as the FNO's uh, backbone. We were considering a good solution to, to build upon, but we still had doubts uh, this time. Uh, because we have uh, specific needs to um, to fulfill, so we decided to to launch to to spend uh, this year to build a proof of concept with real data, both from uh, BNF catalog, authority catalog, and our catalogs, and well, try to to merge this data into a wiki base and try to 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 see how they behave and what uh, how they the tool can fulfill our needs. And we, we, ha we were helped uh, in this uh, uh, proof of concept by uh, Maxime uh, and Vincent from uh, Inventaire d'Otaio, uh, who helped us uh, yeah, have a better idea about what uh, Wikibase can bring us. And uh, Anila will talk about the, the first findings. So, um well, this decision to go with experiment with the Wikibase as the technical infrastructure backbone or the, the basic layer for our FNE uh, was because it's it's not uh, trivial to move from one system to another, and uh, because the initiative of uh, using the Wikibase as the, um, the technical infrastructure for our data, it, is, um, it was bold, uh, means that we move from our classical uh, system information, library system information system to quite another thing. And so we needed to experiment first and just to see whether a set of functionalities that are that we usually need to perform and fulfill in our environment, professional environment, I'm talking here about creating and maintaining and not publishing. So which is a big difference. You were at the session, the previous session with uh, um, just uh, Wikidata Commons contribution strategies for GLAM. Uh, it was about publication in ways about creation in itself. So um, we need to go step by step. And that's why we conducted this experiment, this proof of concept. Uh, and good surprise, no major obstacle to ingest library data according to a specific ontology, which is, uh, well, we, I briefly mentioned that we put their data in two different flavors of mark. Then we define some uh, pivotal properties in order to be able to experiment with merging uh, the data, and there was no major obstacle uh, from the technical point of view. Uh, of course, uh, we came up with a confirmation that Wikibase does offer built-in features that could be used as the basis for the technical infrastructure for FNE. 
But again, the decision is not yet made because the experiment is still, uh, let's say the developments have uh, been completed. Now we're in the phase of um, um, uh, writing the final conclusions and the decision is not yet made from the uh, strategic point of view. But these are really the first findings uh, we can talk about and uh, Wikibase, no uh, it appears to us that the Wikibase might be a good operational uh, solution for managing this initiative that is jointly, collaboratively create these entities, these, these things, uh, uh, to remind you of the opposition between things and strings. However, uh, we notice there are gaps within the specific needs of our specific institutions. Uh, there are defined communities with their own culture, practices, and um, um, well, it is a certain processes that are inherent uh, to the libraries in the solution offered by Wikibase. For example, the search. I mean from the professional standpoint, not only from the end user standpoint, but professional. We need some indexes in order to ensure data quality, data curation, and it is very important for the professional and Wikibase and with its um, elastic search and service search doesn't offer, but still areas of investigation there. The roles, how are managed the roles, the bureaucrat, the patrolling of, it's not exactly what happened in our world. Although there is a layer that can be used upon which we can build other uh, roles that are more in compliance with our way of uh, managing the data or different constraints, constraints related to data publication or data, uh, well, there is an error there, we need to correct, uh, data policy, okay, thank you. Uh, so there are things that needs to be, uh, other layers, bricks, need to be built upon Wikibase and uh, of course, one of the reasons, the major reason, the reason why we are here with you is that we were willing and we feel the necessity to be a part of a community sharing the same concerns. And um, well, we all know, given the program, that libraries and GLAMs are heavily represented in this event. So, um, I think, we think that maybe in a couple of weeks or next year, we will be able to communicate more openly on our decision to go forward with this solution. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you so much. So we will have uh, short presentations first, and we will all return on stage for questions if we have the time for that. Um, but uh, yeah, we heard something from France. Um, th uh, there's another project. Uh, it's called. It's not Fichier National d'Identification, uh, but it's Gemeinsame Normdatei, uh, the universal uh, authority file for the German-speaking world. And uh, I'm so happy to have. Um, good friends of uh, the Wikimedia movement uh, here. Barbara Fischer and uh, Sarah. Um, Hartmann. Hartmann. Sarah Hartmann. <laughs> Thanks a lot for the invitation to talk about um, our project, which is called GND meets uh, Wikibase. And it's a joint project of Wikimedia Deutschland and uh, the GND. And we'd like to give you a quick overview. As Jens said before, there are just 10 minutes. Um, why we go for that approach to evaluate Wikibase if it uh, fulfills the requirements for managing authority data on a collaborative level, I would say. So where do we come from and what's the idea of authority control and um, GND, which stands for Gemeinsame Normdatei? Um, what's the idea of it and um, yeah, where do you come from? As I said before, it's not that um, different from what Anila and Ben said. 
um, just a few seconds ago. Um, the GND is used for the description of resources such as publications and um, objects, um, for example, and in order to enable accurate data retrieval, I would say the GND provides um, unambiguous and distinct um, entities um, for that uh, retrieval. And so there are persistent identifiers as well, as you all know, for identification and reference um, for these entities. Um, the authority file is used by mainly libraries, um, we would say, in the German-speaking countries, but a few other institutions from the cultural heritage domain are using um, the authority file already. And um, all in all, there are around about 16 million um, records, and in Wikibase you would say items, um, which refer to persons, names of persons, corporate bodies, for example, geographic names and works. And um, the GND is run cooperatively by so-called GND agencies, and at the moment there are um, around about 1,000 institutions who are active users of the GND. That means um, they establish new records and edit records or items um, on a regular basis. And the most important thing I would say is that the GND data is um, provided free of charge under ZC0 conditions and that all the APIs and documentation is open as well. Yeah, uh, talking about um, open, um, that's the point and the, the crucial one here. Um, at the moment, um, we challenge to open up the GND for um, uh, other GLAM institutions and institutions from the science um, domain. Um, at the moment, it's really focused on the library um, sector, and that means that um, the handy tool of librarians has to evolve uh, into a tool that is used and accepted uh, across domains. And that means a lot of work on organizational stuff, uh, community building, um, uh, discussions about uh, the current data model, and infrastructural and technical issues. And yeah, talking about the infrastructural issues, um, we came up with the idea to um, become partners in crime um, with Wikibase, I would say. Um, so we have slightly the same aims, um, namely uh, make cultural data more accessible and interoperable. And um, therefore, we now evaluate the software, which, is, which was originally conceived for sole application Wikidata, if it's sufficient uh, for managing authority data. Right. Um, hi, from my side as well. Um, we are focusing in our evaluation project we do commonly with Wikimedia Deutschland. Um, first of all, if Wikibase meets the requirements of GLAM institutions, galleries, libraries, archives, and museums to drive collaboratively an authority file, which is like our basic question, um, we also would like to see Wikibase to increase usability as um, the software system we are using right now is, let's say, quite a complex um, software that is not as handy as you might like it to be. Um, well, and then um, we would like to know if Wikibase would also ease both data linking and uh, growing a diverse community. As Sarah said before, we are right now in a process of opening up towards um, a broader um, uh, scope of GLAM institutions and, and science institutions. And uh, of course, they are working within, within their own uh, software structures. And we would like to know if Wikibase would ease um, the cooperation, co collaboration with us. So. Um, why do we do, do that? This is because we consider um, that Wikibase might be the attractive community zone, which means, um, um, I had to write that down. Uh, first of all, as it is open source, it will be more accessible than any proprietarian um, source um, so software system that is used in the uh, cataloging fields of the GLAM institutions. Then uh, we feel that the Wikibase community already by now is a very dedicated community and we would like to participate in that dedicated community because we believe that sharing is caring and what we want to share is um, 
is our is our knowledge is your knowledge uh, together in order to omit redundance not by editing the same inf information over and over again but reuse data link it quoting it and enriching it and uh, I am um, placed here in on the picture um, one of the tools that is broadly spread um, within Wikidata, this uh, histopedia, because we also feel that if we uh, are able to introduce our data into Wikibase, we might be able to share tools um, improving the code and thus being an active contributing part of the community. Thank you. I'd like to debate that with you later on. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Um, so, at some point we ask ourselves, did we, um, by accident, write a library software? Because uh, the adoption of uh, Wikibase in the library fields is so overwhelming, um, but there is more to it. Um, and, of course, we didn't uh, accidentally write a library system. It can be used uh, for other uh, fields as well. For instance, for biology, and uh, David Fichtmuller will tell us about using Wikibase as a platform for biodiversity. I think uh, that was already... Yeah, yeah. Uh, full screen? Oh, okay. No. Uh, uh. Yes. Um, hello, everybody. Um, I'm David, and I work at the Botanic Garden and Botanical Museum here in Berlin. And um, I work there as a computer scientist. We have an entire department called Biodiversity Informatics. So generally speaking, we write the software that biologists use in their daily work. And on my private side, I've been a Wikipedia contributor for almost 15 years now and Wikidata contributor for almost five years now. So, uh, and also, as part of my job, I am a co-administrator of a media wiki farm with more than 80 uh, wikis regarding the biology community. Um, and a couple of years ago, I was uh, assigned to a project that was yeah, about working on a, on a standard. In particular, it's a standard called ABCD um, that we yeah, needed to do some work on. And um, I assume most of you haven't heard about ABCD. That's not really a bad thing. It's really specific. It stands for Access to Biological Collection Data. And it is uh, yeah, an XML schema, so you can express biological information, uh, particular uh, things like um, information about herbarium sheets, about collections, um, like uh, yeah, fish in, 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 in uh, alcohol jars, or, um, but also observations, uh, scientists being out in the field, seeing certain plants, seeing certain animals. Uh, a lot of variety in here. And because of this, it's quite a huge standard. So we have 1,800 different concepts in there. Uh, that's counting the different X paths there are within the file. Um, and so the challenge was to convert this into a new modern semantic standard. We wanted to use an OWL ontology um, that is able to express the same kind of information that has previously been expressed with the XML files. And also keep all of the existing documentation and restrictions and all of the connections uh, between the, the items. And have a collaborative platform where other scientists can come in and, and give us advice on their specific fields of focus. Uh, did we model this correct? Is there anything missing? So, um, yeah, with all of this in mind, we went looking around and found the solution, and I guess it wouldn't surprise anybody here if I say it's Wikibase, <laughs> otherwise I wouldn't be talking here. Um, so we decided on using Wikibase, and we started to install it without the Docker image. Big mistake. Don't do this. In our defense, um, we started this two and a half years ago. And it was two years ago at the Wikidatacon that the Docker image was first released. Um, so we had to figure out our own way. And uh, once we had things up and running, we didn't really want to break changing things. We do have the Docker uh, installed for the query service. And we have a weird hybrid of custom installation and Docker installation and modified scripts connecting those two instances. Um, we then installed quick statements, again manually, because by the time it wasn't part of the, the query service. 
um, did some, some slight modifications and adjustments to get it to work. I now know it, I know it's now part of the Docker image, but um, yeah, we had it running, so um, we didn't bother changing it. Um, keep this in mind for later on. Um, and before I go into what we did, I want to avoid a possible confusion here, because we're talking about um, yeah, data standard, and when we express things in a semantic way, uh, we will convert the concepts from, from the XML into classes and properties. So this being object properties, connecting the different classes, and data type properties that actually contain the content that is stored, like text, numbers, things like that. Um, and we express all of this within Wikibase, but all of those are items in Wikibase. And they are then described using Wikibase properties. So we have ABCD properties being items being described as Wikibase properties. I try to make sure to use the prefixes accordingly so you know what I'm talking about when I talk about properties in this talk. Um, so let's look at the properties, in particular the Wikibase properties. We uh, sat down and thought, okay, what do we need to describe um, the concepts we are, want to model? And we ended up using around 25 properties, in addition to, of course, label, description, alias. I'm not going to, to mention all of them, just so you see the variety. Um, those fulfill our requirements. And um, yeah, uh, some things express some restrictions and um, others, most of them are optional, uh, only very few are mandatory. So then we set on importing all of this information. We wrote a schema parser that extracts all of the different concepts, so everything that has an X path within the XML schema and all of the documentation that is part of the XML schema. And so we got this into a nice CSV file, and then we could work on this and import it using quick statements. Worked quite well, but then we had, as I said, 1,800 plus concepts in uh, our Wikibase instance. Um, but then when we had things like person, and then person name and contact email, those appear a couple of times within the schema, like for data set owner, for the person who took an image, things like that. So of course we needed to reduce those and um, combine those to reusable classes. So um, there was a lot of manual editing to reduce the number of concepts, and in the end we ended up with a little more than 500. So yeah, classes, object properties, data properties, a couple of other ones I'm skipping to um, avoid additional complexity here. Um, and for certain large-scale edits, uh, we also used quick statements again. Um, so now we did all of the, the editing. Now we wanted to make sure whether the data we have is actually consistent. So that's where we used maintenance, what we called maintenance queries. Um, uh, yeah, used the, the query interface, wrote some Sparkle queries, basically to check for missing properties, um, wrong links between concepts, um, basically things that um, didn't match with our concept, with our, our structure. And um, in the end, we also had to do a manual review of all of the concepts just to make sure we didn't miss anything. This was kind of a um, lot of work because if you would only take like five, five minutes per item multiplied by 550, uh, it's uh, over one week of full and concentrated work. But of course, you don't need five minutes because you sometimes spend like half an hour to fix a certain item when there's problems with the modeling. So we now had all of the data. Now it was time to get the data out of Wikibase. Um, we wrote an export script in Python that uses the query service to get the information about the concepts and fill them in templates, prepared templates. So in the end, we got a nice valid OWL file that contains everything we need. And this is the actual basis of the standard. For future versions, when we are going to um, yeah, make revisions, the Wikibase is our working platform, and once we do an export, this is the new version of the standard, keeping those separate. This would also allow us to like, remove, uh, move the server to, to a different instance, or as I said, change the installation. Um, yeah. We export JSON for the documentation of the website, uh, and we also export the data into a second Wikibase instance. This is like really experimental right now. We haven't really used this in production, um, where it can, where the concepts can then be used to describe actual data. So we are breaking down those, uh, or we're taking them a step down from um, 
properties being wiki-based items and converting them into actual wiki-based properties. This is quite a lot of, requires quite a lot of steps to keep all of the data and all of the linking consistent, but it works. Uh, and in the end, well, it was quite successful. Um, there is a huge community, well, there's a community about biodiversity information standards uh, who also had the annual meeting just uh, in the past days. So there's a huge interest in reusing this approach for other standards as well. And uh, so in the future, we want to try a bit about shape expressions. Um, as I said, we have some restrictions in there to export them and uh, build some better workflows for the versioning. We haven't done this yet and oh, switched up the Docker instance. So in, at the end, I want to have, have a small wish list what things could be improved. Well, there are a lot more tools out there that uh, are really wrote, written for wiki data, but could be more agnostic. Um, in particular, quick statements, as I said, um, I did some adjustments manually. Many of the issues I had m are probably solved by now, but I don't think all of them. Then um, we want to import, um, yeah, existing templates, so the, the Sparkle template, the Q and the PE templates, they're really useful when working with wiki base. So this should be done automatically. And as I said, we did a lot of manual editing, so it would be useful, just idea to have a tool where you can, yeah, like in an Excel table, you load a couple of items and you load a couple of properties and then just jump from cell to cell, really quickly edit a lot of things, uh, yeah, without, uh, in, in a semi-automated way. Well, thanks. That's the end. <laughs> Thank you so much. Oh, so much to talk about uh, on this. Um, so there is not only where? Well, how do I get back uh, from here? Um, it's not only uh, about science. It's not only about libraries. You can also create art and beauty uh, with Wikibase. And uh, who would be better to tell us about this than Stuart Pryor? Now, slightly embarrassingly, we talk about art and beauty, but this is a really ugly presentation. So, um, starting off with you know, a room full of Wikimedians, um, trains, people like trains, um, but it has a purpose. So this is uh, Hackney Down Station in, in North East London, um, and this is about Banner Repeater and Wikibase, which I'll explain further. So this is a terrible photo, but um, it is actually where uh, an artist's publishing archive is held, which is on the platform of a train station. Uh, within there, they've got uh, several hundred uh, copies of various types of artists' publishing. They get a lot of public footfall. It does a lot of outreach to actual general public. Like you get on the train, you'll find bits of sort of obscure art on the train. Um, so it's a really interesting project but part of a much wider community. So what is artist publishing? What are artist books? Like, I didn't know either. Um, so the definition, according to Wikipedia, is artist books are works of art utilised in the form of a book where you can read it. Um, but they're, it's individual pieces of art or sometimes collections of art using publishing as a, as a medium. This varies quite a lot. It's very interesting. It was kind of... There's a lot of it in the kind of early 20s and 30s, and then it kind of had a bit of a renaissance, 60s and 70s, and continue, continues to expand. Has a large global community, multilingual, um, somewhat separate from kind of large institutional art institutions. So you'll find uh, collections such as uh, the VNA has a collection, obviously. Um, so you know they've got various kind of items such as these. Uh, this is just an article, so it's not the best display. Um, but it's a really kind of interesting, yet slightly niche field of work. But uh, it's not very good on Wikidata. This is, a, again, a really terrible photo. Um, it's not my photo. Of some of the stuff held in the Banner Repeaters archive. If you see in the middle, the pink one, Blast, that's actually a fairly notable um, piece of artist publishing um, from the 20s. <coughs> What does it look like on Wikidata? So it's not good on Wikidata. Um, it's often just confused with uh, books or other forms of publishing. Uh, the average kind of Wikidata item for a, uh, a notable piece of artist publishing doesn't really have much to say about it. You know, it's just, there you go, that's it. 
Um, there's not a huge amount of identifier numbers as well. So there's clearly a lot missing when it comes to uh, when it comes to artist publishing. Certainly, can compared to more traditional forms of art, uh, paintings and sculpture and so forth. And there's um, a huge desire within the community to start codifying this and making it a real thing. So I'll give you an example of what is actually available. And you can point out what's wrong with this query. Um, so this is basically all... There it is. That's every artist's book on Wikidata. So there's really not a lot. Some of them don't even have labels for a start. Um, and it's, it's something that really needs expanding and something that has capacity to be expanded. Has anyone seen what's wrong with this query yet? The labels, the labels say sausage um, because I just stole someone else's query and changed the key number. <laughs> it's actually a query about sausage. Um, anyway, moving on. But yeah, you see it doesn't really have much of a presence. Um, we were approached by a uh, banner repeater so I work for Wikimedia UK. We were approached by Brandon Repeater to help them with this, uh, with uh, setting up a wiki base um, in terms of funding and getting extra funding, but also in terms of bringing in a wider community and being part of the process. So the process is basically to gather this community of artists, archivists, and linked data experts um, and work out what the schema, what the data model for artist publishing should be. It's a very specialised field. It doesn't really map onto Wikidata perfectly. It's probably too granular for it. Um, and the other thing is the kind of flexibility of it. Maybe it doesn't really fit in Wikidata. Maybe it's too, too rigid at the moment. Um, the Wikibase is being built, so I haven't got much to show you because it's not been built yet, but this is more about the process. And the process is its extensive community consultation through kind of layers of it. So we're not just going to do this in one session. It's not a few individuals deciding. It's kind of ongoing and ongoing and ongoing. The impact of this could be, could be fairly substantial because no one else is doing this work. A lot of the larger institutions have artists publishing sitting in their kind of back room. They don't really know how to categorise it. They haven't categorised it very well. They're not very interested in it. Um, but there is a huge community that is interested in doing this. So this is basically um, the process at the moment. So the initial workshop has happened, so it was an expert workshop with um, some people uh, sort of deep in the field of artist publishing, archivists, people who own collections and so forth, to establish a kind of basic set of priors to look at uh, what things were existing, what the existing status was on, on Wikidata and look at how that could be expanded or improved. And uh, then they documented that um, and sort of established this kind of this basic structure. And now we move into the next process where it's bringing in a much wider community. So that's, it's not just data people, it's creators as well. There'll be a lot of narrative in this, and a lot of qualitative things. Um, again, stuff that just doesn't really belong on Wikidata. Um, but also working with archivists and working with uh, linked data experts and so forth to hopefully bring this all together to create a resource that will have a nice accessible front end and also build this community of people who can contribute to it and kind of own this data set. Uh, I'll show you what we've got already. This is, uh, this is subject to change. But this is basically kind of where we've got so far with the expert one. So you see different P numbers being developed and look at what their equivalent on, on Wikidata is. Um, and it, obviously it's a lot more granular than probably the information on Wikidata is at the moment. So you can, it's, there's some sort of detailed stuff, so there's um, qualities such as height, width, thickness and so forth, um, which aren't necessarily that present on other groups of artists publishing on Wikidata. But there's lots of other things like commissioned by and contributors to, and a lot of these works will have multiple contributors um, and multiple editions and things like that. There's a really a lot of granular information that can come about these things. And a lot of narrative as well, you know, uh, as things have changed over time, as people have reinterpreted things. Um, and this was what was created. Um, again, most of it has Wikidata equivalents, but some of it doesn't yet. So uh, what do we have here? Other editions and things like that. 
So it's fairly specialised. This is the kind of first stage, and this will go through another process as people take things away from it or contribute to. Um, the flexibility is really important in this. Um, it's kind of getting away from older kind of standards and moving to something which is a bit more up to date and something where the community can really change things and not be dictated to. And I'll start speaking quicker. So, power dynamics at the moment and why Wikibase? So, at the moment, this is the art world, this is what the art world looks like, it's a big orange thing. Um, but you've got these large institutions, and then you've got sort of groups of artists publishing. So that could be, you know, Delhi, Mexico City, London, and so forth. And what we don't want is this kind of thing where large institutions and experts get to dictate the kind of ontology and, and how these things are going to work. Um, so working to establish a wiki base among an artist's community can help them work out what they're going to do. And then they start pushing back into the larger institutions uh, with a more kind of flexible data model, with something that's more up-to-date and coming from grassroots organisations as opposed to coming from institutions, so to speak. So I think there's huge value in, in this approach in terms of creating a sort of parallel infrastructure for communities of people who own content and so forth, much like... Like, much like Wikimedia is, um, and kind of pushing out to institutions rather than doing it the other way around. Um, do I have another slide? What next? I always put this slide in because it's always the worst slide and it's such a stereotype. Um, what next? We're moving on to the sort of community consultation stage, so it will get a bit more kind of uh, expansive and interesting. This obviously, this uh, this database will be talking to Wikidata, but on what terms? We're not 100% sure. But it could be that this becomes very just a very specific instance for artists publishing that Wikidata can draw from, and vice versa. And I'll just finish off with that picture again, because I'd quite like it. And that's all I have to say. Thank you. Thank you so much. We're almost at the end of our fast-paced ride, and uh, we'll, I want to say we, we saved the best for last, no, but uh, we give the last presentation to someone uh, who is a true pioneer of uh, using Wikibase uh, in uh, the field of digital humanities, and uh, yeah, Olaf Simons. You have not prepared any slides, but we will do some live exactly. action. Uh, and I have been on Wikipedia since 2004, actually, I have the 15 years. Um, what am I going to show? <laughs> yeah, um, I've been congratulated for this. I'm going to show you um, the Wikibase instance we created. It's not a Docker image, and I, I could agree it's not the best to have a Docker image. It's, it's not the best to have an independent um, installation. It's difficult, and it's been extremely difficult for us, and we're grateful for the Wikimedia um, Germany um, to help us get it done um, on a mutual agreement we had. So basically, um, we have here several projects on this. It's more project-oriented than Wikidata, and um, my, my thing should be in here. I open that and go, just should have done that before. Here we are. Um, the history of the Illuminati, I, sh I start with this one. This has been a little film which has been created by um, Paul Olivier Dehaye, um, whom I only know from Twitter, as he asked us what kind of experience did we uh, make when we got our wiki base, and he was experimenting with his own. And I talked to him about things we could do and things we could not do. This was a film I would love to be able to do. And he said, it's easy for me. I can run a Sparkle search, get the information, and put it into a program on which you can then see this thing. Uh, it's actually 20 years of research on the Illuminati, and it gives you a short history of the entire organization and all its correspondences. That's not a Wikipedia tool. It's not a tool of, um, of Wikibase, but it's something you can do. And actually, I like it um, that it is not a tool already, it should become a tool. Um, I like it because it shows our data is really free. Someone can download our data, someone can do something with it which we haven't expected, and it can be done within two hours, or if you're bright, and he is bright, of course. Um, so he created this for us. I go back to my presentation. 
why are on Wikibase? This was the immediate question when we approached Wikimedia. I knew of Wikidata since 2010, and in 2017 it was ready to, um, to be used by us. And, and there was actually an interest from Wikimedia people to say, do it, and, and we support you. Um, why our own base? Basically, as original research that we have to do, and, and the entire installation is a research tool. It's not only there to take a look at what we did and, and for presentation purposes, but actually I use it every day for my research. I change dates of documents and take a look at how things look when I have changed that. I do a lot with working hypothesis. And we ask projects that have data to give us their data um, and to feed them in and they can again put a label, put an, an item to their um, data sets that says this has been produced by the following project. Next projects can continue with it but it's already there as a marker that this is a data set with work from a certain project. And if you have a project, DFG, um, DFG funded, but the German research institution, if you have a project, you want to show what kind of work you have done. And you can now do a Sparkle search and present your entire group of data sets um, in the um, final um, <coughs> resume of your work. So we get original research. We identify research, we encourage the working hypothesis. This is a working tool and it's actually quite useful to start from the beginning, not to present something in the end, but from day on. Um, you work with it and what you think is the proper answer to that question, you can put it into Wikibase and then you can substantiate information until you see this is the right identification of a person or the right date for a thing which we haven't been able to date so far. So actually accumulate work while you are doing it, use the Wikibase as a kind of tool that is getting you closer to the final result. Our first meeting took place in December 1, 2017, and I remember I um, had a little challenge for you. Um, that was um, a death date, a date of death for a person, um, where I wanted to have someone to, sh to him to show um, a source for that and that was extremely difficult because he had to create the source before he could connect it to that and in the room we were, had the clear idea if we do this we do it um, with the sources already part of the um, Wikibase installation we have and if we have the sources in there that is all the early modern books that have been printed would be the ideal if we have that in there we need the GND in there and when we heard that the GND people are on their track to um, test the software, I approached them and asked, wouldn't you like to do this in a cooperation with us um, so that we can have your data, which we want to have anyway, and that you can see how it works on a wiki base. And this is where we are at the moment. And presently, I would say a lot of things we're not sure how they are done, or at least I am not sure how they are done. How's the input done? Um, how do you get from a resource of strings to an item-based resource? Um, lots of things. And basically my talk here is an invitation. Join us. Um, we are still not really part of the Wikibase community. That doesn't exist. We have a Wikidata community and lots of things are taking place in Wikidata. But if I ask for help for a Wikibase that is not Wikidata, um, that's a difficult thing. Um, first thing I would say is actually to work with us is cool because you can grab the data for Wikidata anytime, any moment. It's CC0. Um, so actually you can use it as an incubator of your work um, and, and drag it to Wikidata. And also we will work with big data when we have the GND in there, that will be quite something. So if you really want the challenge, you can get it also on our platform. And we offer interesting communities. Um, basically one of the things that is different is that we have all clear name accounts and institutions. So, but that also means you can do things which you couldn't do on Wikidata. You can do your genealogy at our site. We don't mind. It's interesting to have people um, getting such data. You can do your city search um, research, historical research on our platform. We don't mind. You can be um, with research on our platform. So um, lots of things need to be done. We have immense problems running the database. It was 
implemented by Wikimedia, but now we see lots of things don't really work, we can't really fix that. It's extremely difficult to get help um, to run the database, to update the database, to solve little technical problems which we face as soon as we run an, an instance outside um, Wikidata. Um, like getting the direct GND link is difficult. It works on Wikidata, it doesn't work on our instance. Getting images from Wiki um, Media Commons on our Wikibase um, is not that easy. Um, lots of little things still remain, so actually this is an invitation. Um, if you want to join us on the mass input, um, do that. Approach us. If you want to help us with technical things, this is highly welcome. And then we need tools. Um, you saw the tool we had in the beginning. Actually, it's not that difficult to get such tools. I, I saw what kind of query you do to get such a visualization, and once you have it, um, you should be able to modify it easily. Um, these tools are extremely precious in our community of digital humanities projects, and there are little companies that create these tools again and again and again and get money for that. Um, I would love to have these tools just once and for all free and on the market and working with a Wikibase instance. So anyone who is interested in developing tools, approach us and we have plenty of ideas of what visualizations historians would love to see and that should be done. So basically, yeah, lots of things like still remain. I've got one minute, I don't need that one minute. And you're putting pressure on me. Um, I give the minute to the audience. Yeah, well, thank you so much. And um, maybe you want to sit down because, um, yeah, we want, I would like to, uh, everyone to, to join me back on, on stage uh, and we can have a round of questions. I really like that you ended with an invitation because this is what, what this is now. Um, you are invited to ask questions. You are also invited to join us tomorrow at the Wikibase meetup. If you, are, if you have some idea for an awesome Wikibase installation for your institution, for your hobby, for uh, changing the world, uh, please come and join us. We will meet up and um, there's some complication with the chairs. Well, let's stand up. Okay. I think we have another microphone here. I have the microphone or? for the questions. Ah, okay. <laughs> One. Um, so, um, thank you for the presenters and uh, meet us at the Wikibase meetup. And now I can't wait to hear your questions to the panel. Who's the first? Yeah. Hi. Um, I will be talking in the lightning session too about geosciences and how in geosciences there's many data repositories that have collected and uh, shared data with the community for years, for decades in some cases, and they curate the data sets, their schemas evolve continuously, they get a lot of feedback from the community, all they desire is to organize the community to enable the growth of these repositories. So they don't necessarily desire to put all their content in Wikidata and lose control over it. They offer a tremendous service curating this content. So I just wanted to point out that some of the uh, you know, requirements and needs that have been voiced by the panelists appear in my communities. And um, my question is, how do you mix or, or maintain control over those schemas, over the standards, while allowing the community to continue to introduce feedback and have more of this crowdsourcing spirit that Wikidata has. I think everyone could answer that, but maybe David, uh, you want to start? I'm, I'm not sure whether I'm the right person to answer this, because in our use case, it's uh, like, um, in terms of yeah, data modeling, it's um, really, really a narrow set of people who actually read, do the work. We, we contact experts for the relevant segments, mm -hmm. uh, and some of them could contribute, but for the current iteration, it was yeah, only me and two colleagues who actually worked on it, so um, we want to have this option that we get experts in, uh, but it's always like in close co collaboration with us, so that we don't really have to care, worry about the problem of crowdsourcing. Being part of the Wikimedia community, I would say I, I would not be that worried. 95% of the edits are good edits and improving things, more than that. Um, as soon as we have a 
an instance that is actually closed where I offer the accounts on real name, that's an additional hurdle that no fool is going to, to go over. People are required on our instance to offer an address um, on page, not to me, but on page. And this is something only institutions usually do, or private people that say, okay, I'm a private person, I love this research, this is my personal field, I give you my address. Um, and this is a, a thing that puts off every, any, any vandal um, who wants to destroy Wikidata. So you can um, close the system, but then you are not really part of the same flowing community. But again, I would say if you go CC0, then you can open up, you can be the incubator where people do the research and then it goes out to the community. But it's an invitation, um, use maybe close works uh, and use an instance where you work together with people you like. Um, well, I think that, um, or rather I don't think that it's my, uh, only my opinion, it is there are different perspectives and it will be hard to reconcile all perspectives and say is Wikidata is the solution for the entire world to go into. I don't say by this that Wikidata is not a solution, but there are different perspectives, there are different needs, the world is um, really, there is a large variety of needs, of uh, professional per perspectives that you cannot reconcile in a unique worldwide database. So I think that both are, the, the trickiest thing is how to reconcile and find angles of dialogue between these two large families of needs and perspectives. Um, if there are more questions, I would rather like to go to more questions. Yep. Anybody else? If not, meanwhile you're thinking There's about your questions, yep. I would Sorry. just like to say that's one of the reasons why we consider Wikibase, because we believe that um, adding, editing information within a Wikibase instance, uh, where you have rights and roles as you have in Wikidata, gives us the opportunity to share that information with the information in Wikidata in a more easy way, a more convenient way than if we try to build these bridges in between our authority file and Wikidata at the moment. So I found it quite exciting hearing about how you're energizing communities to find their own ways for data modeling of, uh, and, and that you can put into Wikibase. Um, will you, I'm just thinking of Stuart Pryor's community, but also some of the others, be trying to feed the approaches that, as a community that you decide work, back to Wikidata to say, we've, we've done artist books, we've thrashed through several iterations, this is what we found really worked, and are properties that you should have, or revisions you should make to the Wikidata data model? Good question, very short answer. Oh. It's an interesting question. Um, I don't know whether this is a model that's going to work for other types. I, I hope it is. Um, but it's, it's a difficult one. It would be a question of whether the Wikidata community accepts the kind of authority of a separate community that goes off and does the work on its own. Um, but I would certainly hope that it's, it's a way of people feeding back into this process without necessarily needing to go onto Wikidata and do it. Well, I would say grab it. Grab it if it is convenient, take it and take a look at how it works on the other instance. And if you feel like this is a cool um, property to do certain searches, then, then that will be adopted, that will be flowing. I, I wouldn't think of authorities doing From a doing Wikidata this. user perspective, the great thing you're doing is showing that you've established code that works and runs. You've established a data model that people can see is implementable and works. And so in the open source community, you know, show, show us the code, you can do that. And that's why I think it's very exciting to have these, these branches that can then, then fold it back for data modeling. Yeah, thank you. I think that, that is exactly the point. Uh, I also like the verb that you used, energize. This is exactly what we want to do. Energize, just in Star, as in Star Trek. Um, yeah, 
this uh, panel comes to an end. Um, and um, if you have any more questions on all these Wikibase uh, projects, uh, talk, have conversations. This is what this conference is about. Thank you very much.